Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we're in Rochester, New York, outside. Vasco's. Vasco's plates, burgers, and shakes to eat a garbage plate. Now, if you're not from Rochester, you probably have no clue what I'm talking about. Well, Rochester has this very, very famous dish called a garbage plate. Essentially, it is like home fries, so basically like fries, potatoes, um, then with macaroni salad, usually served with burgers and or hot dogs. Then they have this fancy meat sauce on top. That is the signature thing. Apparently it's all about the sauce. And uh, there's like onions, ketchup, mustard. Anyway, it's like a pile of, well, I don't want to say garbage. It's like fried foods, basically, a pile of fried foods. So why we're here, because they have the biggest plate in Rochester and they offer this little plate challenge. So for this challenge today, guys, we are only gonna have 10 minutes, just 10 minutes to eat this giant plate, including like four burgers. Uh, I think it's like three or four orders of the Mac, three or four orders of the uh, house fries, and then like same as the meat sauce. So yeah, jumbo sized plate, guys. Um, but that's about it. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, it should be delicious. I believe the meal is probably about $25 or something. We are getting the cheeseburger version which is like one of the most classic or variants um, but yeah a lot of history here so let's head on the side of the phone these food and wish us luck guys as we go eat a garbage plate we're gonna eat garbage today so in a good way so let's go Howdy, everyone so here we are with the garbage plate so yes we are officially eating I don't I don't want to say we're eating garbage because I know it's not garbage but it smells really delicious so we have the meat sauce again the burger patties everything else it's definitely a big 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 plate um, that's what they call it. they call it a plate garbage plate plate all the above um, ketchup I like Mustard, I like everything else. I also got some more ketchup on the side, but that's it everybody. So we're gonna start here momentarily. We're gonna eat this garbage plate. Again, a very Rochester thing, but should be a lot of fun. So let's get eating. I am ready, the restaurant is ready. So how we start, let's say kind of five, four. I don't know where to start. Do the people mix it up? No, we're no. right at it. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, let's eat. Mm. Macaroni salad. That meat sauce is really good too, actually. Mm. Oh yeah. Ketchup mustard. Definitely an interesting combo. It's good though. Cheeseburger. Hey everyone, welcome to Zero. Today we're here at Vasco's in Rochester, New York, eating a garbage plate. Yes, so we described what a garbage plate is, essentially a pile of food. But I will say, anytime I mentioned Rochester on any of my social media, everybody said I had to eat a garbage plate. So I'm glad to bring you a garbage plate challenge. And this place just won best garbage plate or plate in Rochester. So it's all in the sauce and tastes really good. So I guess the actual history of the garbage plate and or a plate is full of lawsuits and full of apparently double crossing, deceit. It's a really interesting story. There is kind of an original place which started this plate or garbage plate and then you had people, you know, their employees branching off trying to steal recipes, stealing names, then the garbage plate name became like a trademarked, um, you know, nonetheless like a big story behind it. It's a big plate. Woo. Arguably, I guess you could say this dish is kind of similar to like a loaded fries in a way. Just obviously the macaroni salad is a pretty unique addition. Additionally, you can get it like in made with burgers. I guess the original one was hot dogs, but burgers have become the most standard. Um, and then there is people that do with other meats like chicken, etc. Basically, I guess to make it quote unquote a plate, it just has to have like a fry or potato option. Even people sometimes boil potatoes has to have like a macaroni salad or some kind of other starchy thing. And then it has to have that sauce, which they call it hot sauce, hot sauce. One thing for sure it's well lubricated. Goes down pretty easy. It's very traditionally like a after bar food. So now the hot sauces themselves also do taste quite different. Some have cinnamon in them, some of them don't. And from my understanding, having cinnamon in your sauce is kind of like a ham or a pineapple on pizza thing, where some people are like totally for it, some people are totally against it. But essentially it's like a really thick kind of gr uh, ground beef, almost like I don't know, like I want to describe kind of like a sloppy Joe mix in a way. Um, lots of like, not spicy picante flavors, but warm flavors. Coming about three minutes in, Ooh, making our way through the plate. 
and really when you put it all together with you know like ketchup mustard like it, it is it does taste good you know admittingly it really does taste good despite it literally just being more or less a pile of food um, and I, it was I have no complaints it's all sauce hot sauce well it's like temperature hot not spicy but with that, everybody, I believe that's all the info I have for you today. So a huge thanks to Vasco's, uh, really nice people there. Um, whether you're looking for plates, garbage plates, burgers, or milkshakes, um, cool place. They have uh, really well decorated. And at that, let me know down below if you would try a garbage plate. You know, let me know what you think of this plate. Um, it would definitely, honestly, I liked it. Ketchup, mustard, all that good stuff. I have no complaints. So let me know down below if you would eat a garbage plate. And now let's get to the rest of the video. Alright. Getting to the end of this plate. We are done. Whew. It's been over five minutes. Five minutes and two seconds. Five minutes, two seconds, the official time. So that was good, guys. Very unique item. Every time I mentioned Rochester, especially you guys, yes, you guys, your requests were like, do a garbage plate, do a garbage plate, do a garbage plate. So how could I not come to Rochester and have a plate? So that I want to give a huge thanks to Vasco's here, guys. Um, yeah, it was good. I have no complaints. Like I said, really unique kind of food item combination if you're not you know from the rochester area it sounds really weird but definitely the best tasting garbage i've ever eaten i don't know if you can say that but you know what i'm saying not that i've eaten garbage but i mean it's called a garbage plate or you know a trash plate whatever messy plate it ain't my term but all i will say is it is definitely good really cool combo the mac salad was delicious how nice it's kind of zip zangy i know they make that here same as the meat sauce they're even like making batches as we talk i i, I don't know what flavor i would say is in the meat sauce but it's just like it's a really nice, welcoming, beefy, like not hot, like heat, like temp, like not like picante spicy, but like nice spices. Like, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it was good. It was really good. No complaints. Again, ketchup, mustard, onions on basically hash browns or home fries. I liked it all, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's about it. So that was cool. The biggest garbage plate. Biggest plate in Rochester. Um, it was good. We did it. We ate it. And I have no complaints. Now, I do know this place also specializes in milkshakes. Maybe I will try one. Just maybe, maybe, maybe. They do look really, really good. They have the Oreos and all this other stuff. Um, but that's about that, guys. So, definitely if you're in the area, stop and buy. Again, they did win number one plate, um, which is pretty, I mean, that's a pretty big act, you know, uh, accomplishment being Rochester is all about the plates. But yeah, like I said, huge thanks to staff here. And, uh, that's about that. No complaints. There you go. We ate some garbage. We ate a garbage plate today. So everyone, of course, till next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Uh, definitely if you're in the area, like I said, feel free to stop by. And I know they'll say. So maybe we'll be back with the milkshake. Howdy, everyone. So I did grab a shake. This is a freaking Oreo Butterfinger. Woo! That is sweet. That is creamy. Got some whole milk up in here, guys, but very delicious. So definitely recommend grabbing garbage plate. Grab yourself a milkshake as well. Very good. But yeah, guys, like I said, until next time.
have over there. Thank you, favorite. Hey, you know, you picture of us? Yes. Now I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna be a fan of you too. And thank you, thank family, you. everybody. I'm gonna tell everybody. I appreciate it. I appreciate I posted it. On my you did? Oh. Man, he got some freaking air gone. Where do I get one of these things? I wanna get some air like that. Holy crap, man. Only in uh, Rochester.